Dude, I thought I was gonna eat it over there, bro. Oh shit. Different scooter. Yeah, this is I'm Martin's brother. Yeah, yeah I'm Martin's little brother. brother. Oh my god, you're on his own. <laughs> yeah, I made this thing on my own. I had this cooler just sitting there and I had an old scooter. I ended up cutting the scooter in half and I screwed it onto a piece of like two by four and bolted the electric drive kit to the to the board and yeah. yeah. It works. <laughs> it's a good little uh, car meet cruiser. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, what's up everybody? Uh, we're gonna be reviving an old project here. This is the Landwheel L3X. I'll be putting back onto this old cooler that I made a long time ago, cooler cart. Hasten that holds the battery ended up falling apart, so I don't really trust it on a skateboard that much now. So we're gonna put it on this DIY cooler cart and try to mount these lights, the shred lights. So that way I got lights up front and lights in the back. So yeah, let's get to it. Obviously taking the board apart, I've got the Landwell bolted up on here. Uh, I got the shred lights on the back bolted already on there, or just mounted on there. Uh, I need to make holes, and I got a drill bit to make the holes for it. However, uh, for the brackets to fit on there, I got to get rid of this ridge, or this little lip that's on there, try to make it flat. Shit. Got the wheels. What are you wiring up? Yeah, Alright, well, the uh, land wheel was fucking up. Only one of the wheels was really spinning, the other one was making a bunch of noise. So I ended up just unplugging one of the uh, motors that went to the ESC, so now I just got one wheel spinning. So let's try it out with just one wheel. Not bad. But I do want to get that motor fixed because it's still a little bit. Yeah. You know that little motor thing you're riding on? Yeah. Alright, yeah, so I had the motors disconnected. I don't know if it's because there's a little bit of uh scratch on this wire. I don't know, we'll see. Let's connect them back up. And try it again with both the motors wired back up. Seems to be working fine. All right, let's try this out, dog. Pretty bad, as you can see. Let's turn back around. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! This is a beast. Let's do it one more time. Battery 
probably just disconnected from the... It's blinking red, so... Let's figure out what just happened. Let's just get back for now. See what we can do once we get there. I'm gonna switch batteries, see what the hell it does. I'm gonna just take it all the way. Yeah, accelerator's fine. It's just, uh, I think the battery was dead on the other one. That's why I kept shutting off feature. So now, full battery. Except the remote. Remote needs to be charged a little bit. Now that it's pretty much full, I'm gonna see what it does. Huh? All right, yeah, we're back at it. Uh, I think just, I was having issues with the other battery. At least I hope. way more current than if I was riding a skateboard because this thing's flashing. Like it was flashing just a second ago, just from that little run. I mean also, I, this is a, a three year old, you know, three year old kit. So if you're familiar with the Revel Drive, the Revel Drive is the newer updated version of this. Ever heard of it? It's like I said, a three year old kit. Um. Let's hope it holds up. I have three batteries and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get but two miles per battery now, the way I ride this thing. So if you just cruise on it, sure, you can probably get four miles per battery, but whew, not the way I ride. See how fast I go. <laughs> no, bro. I think it's just the battery was dead on the other one. They're not that great. They're old, three-year-old batteries, so they're just, they can only do so much. I'm gonna put the lights on another day because I'm not gonna have time. Mine's already getting ready. This car meets starting. Uh, allow while you see if it's still alive. Yeah, like right now we're going four miles an hour, five miles an hour. Let's go ahead and check the uh, speedometer. 24 max, not bad, not bad. I mean, the advertised, the old advertised speed, obviously, when it was brand new, it was 30 miles per hour. I've gone 26, 28 miles per hour before on this thing when it was on the board, so not bad for it being on this cooler. It's a little bit different. Um, if I had better bearings on the front end, uh, the motors were new batteries were a little bit more charged i'm sure i can get a little more miles per hour but it's not bad not bad at all <laughs> I went 24 miles per hour on the cooler. <laughs> you want to ride it, bro? All right. All right. Yeah, I'm not gonna take it there because it's all it's all grass apparently. All you gotta do is obviously you gotta hold it, but yeah. the gas is that, and then pull back 
for the brake. So wait, so what? See how it's not really on there? Yeah. It's just. Ah. I already see my bus by. <laughs> I already started wobbling over there. Dad, I was gonna eat it. It was going back and forth. I, <laughs> I was gonna eat it over there, bro. Oh shit! It's not bad, but it's I need cool, to. Though. I need to tighten up some of the bushings in the back so that way it's a little <laughs> more stiff. And get this like stable on there. I want to get a better front wheel and everything. Yeah. A whole different scooter. Martin? Yeah, this is. I'm Martin's brother. Yeah, yeah Martin's little brother. brother. Yeah, you made it on his own. <laughs> yeah, I made this thing on my own. I had this cooler just sitting there and I had an old scooter. I ended up cutting the scooter in half and I screwed it onto a piece of like 2x4 and bolted the electric drive kit to the to the board and yeah, yeah. it works. <laughs> it's a good little uh, car meet cruiser. Yeah. <laughs> I'll bring the Miles Phantom out. Give it a shot. This switch is actually pretty fast. Go for a little ride. We hit 24 with the uh, cooler. We're already hitting 24 already. 28, 29, 30. Yeah. This is a way different animal. Quick little, uh, you know, cruise through the, uh, do a quick little cruise to the neighborhood, right quick. Give this thing a little, a little speed run. You guys never heard of this board this is the miles phantom um obviously i posted it in my last couple videos but man i've never really talked about it paired and comparing this board to the land wheel man this is night and day difference i've got the cloud wheels on here that make it so much better so much smoother to ride on um instead of saying and marketing that you uh, the board itself goes 30 miles an hour this thing actually boasts more than 30 miles an hour they claim the 30 miles an hour and it definitely goes plus 30 miles per hour plus range i've done 22 miles with some heavy riding but i think i can get 30 if i uh if i just cruise but yeah give it a couple all right couldn't do that with the old board That's it for the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, follow, and on to the next one. Yep.